the the best example I've seen of this in modern technology is the concept of chaos engineering. Are you familiar with that? No, I'm not. Chaos engineering was actually adopted by um, Netflix. Netflix scaled so fast, which is very relevant to the topic of conversation that we had today, yeah. is that they had challenges with, with capacities. The servers couldn't keep up with the amount of uh, distribution they needed to and the amount of customers they had. So some engineers within Netflix said, well, actually, instead of waiting for these incidents to occur, why don't we set up this, the environments in which we can create our own chaos? And Chaos Monkey was formed and coined, and then Chaos Engineering came off the back of that. So they would well, do pro proactive instant management where they would purposely put chaos into their systems and then learn from them to say, okay, well, if I've done X, it's caused Y, so this is what I now need to put into my feature list to make sure that that doesn't happen in a real scenario.